I mean, it's a, it's a productive piece of equipment. It's very valuable, very valuable. Well, this is a um, packaging producing company. 95% of what we do is packaging here. We do a lot of cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, electronics, uh, but mainly cosmetic uh, packaging. That's something we've been involved in for the past 20 years. It's what we specialize in. I'm not technically an owner yet. You know, we have my mother, Teresa, you know, Scott, Andrew's father, and then my grandfather, Walt. My mother's still heavily involved. My grandfather and uncle are kind of, you know, doing their own thing, enjoying their lives. And uh, Andrew and I have uh, kind of taken over the production side of things the last year. And, you know, I think things have been going very well. And that's a good uh, testament to the, you know, all the lessons they've taught us over the years. I've been here for about 20 years now. I started uh, three days after I graduated high school. Yeah, it's been a long journey and, a, you know, a, a good one. I'm very blessed and I, I, you know, I have nothing to complain about. It's been challenging. You know, we've had a great support system, you know, over the years and until recently that wasn't something that we really had to worry about, you know. You know we're learning every day and, you know, we have great employees and a lot that have been with us for many years. So they've made the transition pretty easy. I'm sure the future will have more challenges, but uh, as of right now, you know, th things are going well. We got work on the floor and everybody seems happy, you know, so I have nothing, no complaints. When you have a strong structure with great employees, good managers, it makes it much easier. The responsibility is evenly distributed and it's a, it's a lot easier for all of us to, to have a successful business. I think that's, you know, just kind of how we've done things over the years. You know, we're a family owned business and my grandfather, my uncle, and my mother, you know, we're all very personable and obviously you can't be everybody's friend, you know, but we try to see things from the way our employees would see them and I'd like to think that, you know, anybody here I could, you know, leave, leave with on a Friday, go have a beer with and have a good time, you know. I want everybody to be on the same level, you know, obviously we all have different responsibilities and things like that, but, you know, we all work together as a team and acting like well, you might be above something or below something is not what I'm really about. I want to keep it fair with everybody. All we're worried about is getting our work in and getting it out and having it done, done properly and keeping our customers happy. Many of these employees have been here for 20 plus years and everybody's like family, so. Uh, everybody comes to work every day, enjoys their job, um, does the best they can do, and we make sure that we show them appreciation and gratitude for all the hard work that they do, and that makes my job uh, much easier. It's competitive, but when you have a, a good sales force that has a, a great relationship with your customers, it's still competitive, but they know you, that you're uh, exceptional at packaging, that you do a great job, and so you, you build that bit, that relationship with your with your with your customers. The competition is there. You always have to be on your toes, but it's more of a relationship. But uh, I, I think that over the years, the, the relationship has has kept us steady and afloat. It's not new technology for us. We've been an adopter for about 12 years now. This is our newest eagle that we put on our press here. Uh, we went from a six-color Roland to a seven color KBA and uh, added the Eagle on. It just expands business with our existing customers and opens doors for new business with new customers. We love it. It's a great, great piece of equipment. As far as uh, purchasing the Eagle, M Mike is a great salesman. Mike stood behind his product and we put it on there, we tried it out and we never looked back. That, in that area, as far as the Eagle goes, it was uh, putting it on, trying it out, making our own determination. It wasn't like buying a printing press or a die cutter or a polar gluer. The proof was in the test. No, it's a great machine. It runs well. I don't see us ever changing from the Eagle. We were kind of on the leading edge of that. You know, it was a new technology and you know, we didn't make a pivot into packaging and probably until maybe, you know, the mid 2000s. Back then we didn't have a, a stamping capabilities. We were just, you know, investing in some new technology and the fact that it was all in line and uh, 
cut down lead times, which is a huge thing in our industry is everybody wanted everything yesterday. And, uh, you know, being able to do foil in line, cut out a whole process after the fact, really, you know, really helps uh, customers meet their deadlines. And that was uh, a big driving factor for that. And uh, nobody else, nobody could do it. And, you know, it's been a big part of our business ever since then. It just, again, it goes down to this grassroots, tight-knit community that we have here. We make sure the employees have good equipment and they can produce good work. That's the way any business should be, any successful business should be. We've always invested in our equipment and our employees, always. We have very experienced operators and, you know, we try to get their input when we buy, you know, new equipment and get feedback. I mean, you know, you'd be short-sighted to not talk to your operators before you, you invest in anything because these are the guys that are going to be operating it. If, you know, if they don't like it, you know, then we're not going to like it. And it's important to invest in new equipment and it's important to make sure your operators enjoy running, the, running that equipment. It's getting better and better, to be honest with you, because the, actually the, the machine itself is great. The, the foil is getting better and that, and that makes a uh, world of difference right now. Matter of fact, the job that I ran yesterday was right, right and beautiful. It was uh, 30,000 C's and, and usually we have to stop a lot of times to clean to something, one thing or another, but with this new foil, it's, it's a lot nicer. But the, the machine itself, it, it, does, it does what it's supposed to do. I always look at the, how, how the simpler ones are much nicer looking than, than some of the complicated ones. It, it, it just stands out more, especially with the foil, because you know, you're not hiding it behind something else. Oh yeah, because it, 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 no, that, that's the whole thing about, about what, where they go through all this process, make it stand out on the shelves. The nicer the box looks, it, it attracts the, the consumer. So yeah, it helps out a lot. I'll be honest, I used to do a lot more when I was younger. <laughs> now I got so, so used to it. And I, I, I'll, I'll show my wife, oh, we do this at work. You know, so yeah, I still do, but not as much. <laughs> I think it does, but I think it's gaining more traction. I'd say 12 years ago when we, when we adopted the Eagle, it was very far and few between the number of printers that had it. But I think now it's, it's beginning to gain more traction. But it is nice having it because we have brought work in specifically for the Eagle. It's starting to become a, a centerpiece of the business. It's a foundational aspect of, of what we can do. It's great. There's no substitute for, you know, foil stamping, you know, the way that it's been done forever. It gives us a lot more capability with, you know, blending special colors. With four color process, you can turn the foil into any color you want to. Um, or if you have something in mind, you hit it with a spot color. The possibilities are endless. It's really for people that have a really good imagination. It's another tool in the toolbox for our press room. Absolutely. From not just the Eagle. I mean, increase in demand for emboss, hot foil, spot UV. It's just an increase in general for all embellishments, and the Eagle just happens to be one of them. It's good, you know, obviously Mike's on the East Coast and we're over here, so he, um, you know, every time he's over here, he comes and stops by and says hi, and I know he visited uh, my grandfather and my uncle, and Mike's part of the family. We've known him for a long time, and. Uh, you know, as long as we have a press that's capable of, you know, having one of the Eagle units, it, it will have one on it for sure. Of course we could operate our business without the Eagle, but it's, a, again, it's a nice embellishment and it's becoming a core embellishment for us. Uh, in terms of ROI, just to be blunt, it could be a year. But we do have a special tricing model for the Eagle, as I think any printer would. I mean, it's a, it's a productive piece of equipment. It's very valuable very valuable.